I find it interesting that some of the same people who go on and on about how we need to protect our freedoms, some of these same people who get bent out of shape when they see footage of police going after people for not wearing masks, not that I think police should go after people for not wearing masks, I'm just bringing this up as an example. You know, these pe same people who get really bent out of shape when they see that have no problem when they see footage of a black person resisting arrest and police kill them for it. Oh, well, you shouldn't have resisted arrest. You go on and on about freedom, but you think that if you run, try to run away from the police or you try to get out of being handcuffed that they have the right to kill you? That's weird. That's just strange. That's a strange kind of police state that you seem to want. You know, I, if so, I mean, obviously, if if someone is literally a threat to a threat to the life of a police officer, you know, they're pointing a gun at them. Obviously, you know, they, they need to defend themselves. But if someone is just running away or someone has a taser is is a taser lethal force. You know, if they have a taser, that shouldn't mean that the police get to kill the person holding the taser. Because that's not deadly force. That's not lethal force. That's, you know. I don't know. It's just strange. But the thing that's the strangest about this is how people get bent out of shape when people try to tackle the issue of police brutality towards black people. Well, you know, why do you just focus on black people? Does it really matter? Because in the end, in the end, you know, no matter what you what you what statistics you look at and what you believe about whether police, you know, do this more to one demographic than others, if we if we tackle the issue of police brutality towards black people, it's going to trickle down to everyone. It's going to mean better treatment towards everyone. Isn't that a good thing? Or do you really want this police state where people live in fear and there are some groups that live more in fear than others? Oh, well, you just shouldn't shouldn't fear then, should you? As if you can't put on other people's shoes.